I dare say you lot are probably wondering what I'm trying to achieve here, what I'm actually making. Well, I'm going to make myself a little power supply, a bit of a project. So I've got myself one of these 30 amp power supplies, and I'm just making a little box for it to go in. I'm going to glue this one together. I've just roughly cut these out with a jigsaw, and I've got the two sides here. They're going to go on there like that. Got the top of it is going to go on there. Like that. And then I've got the front and the back as well. So on the top, I'm going to cut out some vents. There's going to be vents because this has got a built in fan on this power supply. So I'm going to cut out some vents, probably some long oblong ones, or I might drill holes. I haven't decided how I'm going to do it yet. I might do oblong, uh, you know, along there and someone here, or I might just drill holes. I don't know yet, but I'm going to do that. I'm going to do some on the sides as well. And I've also got a couple of switches yet. I haven't decided which one I'm going to use. I've got that one. I've also got that one. I think I prefer this one. It's going to be mounted on the front somewhere. So the power cable is going to the power cable has to go in the front here. But I'm going to get it so it goes in, goes along along here, and then pokes out the back, so I can plug the mains in the 240 volt. And I've got a cable for that. I've got a nice plug and a bit of wire for that. I've got some 30 amp wiring. So I'm going to have. I've got. One, two, three lives and three negative terminals on the front of this power supply. As you can see there. So I'm going to have three separate, um, you know, lugs on the front, on the front panel. So I can have three separate things plugged in because it's always a little bit annoying when you try and put everything on the same one. You can't quite fit everything on there. So I'm going to have three different ones and obviously three negatives to go with it as well. And I may in the future, because the voltage adjustment is on this little screw on here, I might in the future try and get rid of that and put it on a little knob on the front of the panel. But for now, that's going to be staying at 13.8 volts. Uh, obviously, the on and off switch is going to be at the front, not that one, that one. I've also got, wherever it's gone, on the front panel... There is going to be a voltmeter and an amp gate, an amp meter, but the amp meter ain't arrived yet. But when the amp meter arrives, it's exactly, it looks exactly the same as this one. So they're going to sit next to each other on the front panel there. Uh, probably, I'll probably have them right at the top. They'll, they'll sit happily next to each other, one there and one there. And I'll probably have the on and off switch on the bottom there and the terminals going along now. That's my plan. That might change as things go along, uh, but I don't know yet, but that is the plan of how that's gonna work. Also, what I'm also gonna do is once this is glued together, this little box is glued together, obviously I'm gonna sand around all the edges and give it a good sand over. So all these sharp edges here on the corners and things, they're gonna be nice and rounded, hopefully, with any luck. But anyway, I bloody love working with wood. Wood, it smells so nice, it's so easy to work with. You know, brilliant stuff, wood is. I was gonna make it out of metal, but I haven't got any metal, so wood it is. Right, let's carry on. So I've got both sides gluing together. I had to remove the little roll pins out of these G, out of these clamp thingies because they didn't quite go. They were literally a gnat's cock off. So I had to remove the little roll pins so I could get them to open up enough. But I've got them gluing on. I'll leave them now. They're going to glue overnight and probably for a few days before I get back to this little project. And after that, I can glue the back one in. Uh, I'm not going to glue the front one in yet because I've got to make the holes in it to put the meters in and things like that and the switches but I can put the back one in and then I've got to try and um, decide whether I'm going to just drill big holes for vents or if I'm going to have oblong vents in the top but I can do the side vents while, they're, while it's like that 
So, well, let's see uh, see how far we get when I come back. Right, so progress is coming along. Um, I've got my little SB amp gauge. I'll put that there. This is just sort of like a rough mock-up at the moment, but I'm going to have it amp gauge, amp gauge there. Uh, voltmeter is going to be on the left like that. Where's my switch gone? Switch for on and off. I think I'm going to put that there, probably underneath there like that. And then here is going to be my terminals coming off. I'm going to have three positive, three negative. Haven't yet decided if I want the negative and the positive on the different sides, or if I want positive with its negative, positive with its negative, positive with its negative. I could have positive, 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 negative, negative, negative. Don't know how I'm going to do that yet. Um, I know some of you are going to say it's supposed to be like this, but I don't want it. I want it how I want it, so I haven't decided if I'm going to do it like that. I probably will end up doing positive with the negative for that, positive with its negative. I'll probably end up doing it like that. I uh, haven't decided yet, but I'm pretty sure the switch is probably going to go there. So I'll have it like that. Volt and amps. Yeah. Lovely. Oh, it's coming along well. I'm well pleased so far. Alright, that's it for today. I'll just glue the front of this on. I know it ain't very pretty at the moment. Well, to be honest, I don't want it to be pretty, to be honest with you. I, I like things to look a little bit haggard, as I like to say, you know. Um, a little bit, I want it to be obvious that it's homemade. So, that little bit of wood that chipped out there, it'll be alright. So, I'm gluing this together. I'll put a few nails in it to hold it. It's got that clamp on that side there because it's a little bit funny. Um, and once I put, once this is glued, I'm then gonna. I think I'm then gonna sand it all down. I've obviously got the top to put on it that I'll cut out. But as you can see, this part here needs to be cut down and straight because that's not straight part. Because that, that was the edge of the wood. I cut it all here, but then that was the edge of the wood that was whatever. So I'm gonna, just gonna cut that. Cut it. You know, make it all straight. To that side give it all the sand um, and then I'll test fit everything in there put all the things in put all the dials in put the power supply in I haven't yet got me terminals um, I'm still waiting for those because they it's, they got me they got me they did I ordered from uh, a website that was supposed to be in the UK and said UK delivery and all that but it turns out they're actually coming from China the companies in England but they ship them directly from bloody China, so they conned me on that one. So I'm waiting for my terminals, but they'll be all right because all I've got to do to put them in is just drill holes, and I can slot them in. So I haven't got to take this front panel off or nothing anyway. So I can do that after. Put everything in, test fit everything, wire it all up, make sure that it's how I want it to work and everything. Then I'll take it all out, sand it all over again to make sure it's nice and smooth. Sand all these corners over. Make it nice, give it a paint, I'm gonna paint it black. And that'll be it. As far as the as far as the top goes, I've got several different ideas in my head. One of them is just to slot put the top one on. I've got some little screws that will screw in there, you know, not too wide, and just screw it down. Another option I've got in my head is I've got some little mini hinges. I was gonna put hinge one there, one there, so that I could just open it up like a like a door. I might do that if it, I, I've got several little ideas in my head, but what I'm going to do yet, I don't know myself. But yeah, coming along quite well. I'm pretty pleased with it. Oh bloody hell! So thanks for watching, you lot. And uh, you know, even more instalments on this soon. And uh, catch you on the next one.